you've got some 60, 70, 80 year old babies in the church. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Come on now. Amen. You've got some babies in the church. Big babies. Grown babies. They're still babies. You can't teach them nothing. Praise the Lord. People say, well, I'm a child of God and I'm in the body of Christ, but when you preach the word of God to them, oh, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I talked to a man yesterday and his wife, and when I began to speak to them about something, you know what the man said? He told her, he said, oh, come on, we got other things to do. He didn't want to hear it no more. You see that they call themselves a child of God, but they don't want to hear no more. I told the woman, I said, ma'am, I don't doubt that you are not trying to live right. That's why God tried to shine more light in your path. But you know what? They didn't want it. They won't stay a baby. Praise the Lord. They won't stay a baby. Hallelujah. But we got to grow. Paul says, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I thought as a child, and I understood as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. It's time that people, praise the Lord, when somebody comes to them and tries to help them with the word of God, they still want to be a child. Praise the Lord. They may be 60 years old and they're still a child in God. Mm -hmm. They received the Holy Ghost when they were 15, 20, 25, or whatever. And you know what? That's as far as they go. They don't want no more. But you see, we got to grow. We got to keep on going. We got to grow. Listen what Paul said in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews, the fifth chapter, and the twelfth verse. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. You know who Paul's talking to? He's talking to the church. He's talking to the church. When you desire to be a teacher, you have need that one teach you again. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Because you know why? There's some of them that still own just the principles of God. Yes. Praise the Lord. They're still on preaching baptism <laughs> and preaching the Holy Ghost. You know what? That's all they want to do, just preach that. And, and guess what? The children in there they're staying children. They're not growing a bit. There's nothing wrong with preaching baptism in the name of Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost. There's not anything wrong with that. There's no but listen to what Paul said in the 6th chapter of Hebrews. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on into perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward God, The ministry should not have to continue preaching baptism in the name of Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost unless there's some new convert that's come in. Praise the Lord, we should be able to go on and go on and preach people into perfection. But you know what? I find they don't want no perfection. That's as far as they want to go. They still want to be a child. God said, Woe unto them that are with child and they give suck in those days. Listen to what he said. Hebrews 5 again. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Praise the Lord, he's a baby. <laughs> but strong meat belongeth to them that are of a full age. Even those who 
by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Do you know why those 50 and 60 and 70 and 80 year old babies can't discern? Because they're still babies. They ain't got no strong meat. And you know what? When God sends somebody by to help somebody, praise the Lord, you know what? They choke. They choke on the meat. Praise the Lord. They choke on the meat because they're still on milk. Praise the Lord. Yes. They're still on milk. Bless them. God's going to have somebody. Praise the Lord. It wants to grow. It wants to grow up. Hallelujah. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 3 and 1. Paul was talking to the Corinthian church. And I'm talking about, he's talking about, he's talking to people who's been baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. And I, brethren, he's talking to the church. Yes. Could not speak unto you as unto spiritual. Did you know something? When I get out here and try to talk to people and witness to people, do you know something? You can't speak to them. You can't speak to them. You know why? Because they're still a baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord, they're still a baby, still a child. And you know what? A lot of that is, it's because they still want to be a child. Mm -hmm. They don't want to learn no more. They don't want to hear no more. They turn you off. Could speak unto you, spiritual but unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. We're talking about brethren. We're talking about uh, uh, adult people. Adult people. And Paul said, You're a baby. I can't talk to you and I can't feed you with milk uh, with me because you're still on milk. You're still carnal. <laughs> Hallelujah. People today, they're still carnal even though they've, they've served God for 50 years. Mm -hmm. They're still a baby. Praise the Lord. They don't want no more. Hallelujah. God sent somebody by to expound the word of God more perfectly to them. And they don't want it. Praise the Lord. They don't want it. For you are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envy and strife and division. Are you not carnal and walk as men? Let me say this. Did you know something? When our children were little, you know what they done? They fussed and they fought each other. <laughs> My two girls, they fought each other. They'd run and tell on each other. Mama, look what she done to me. They're still children. He couldn't speak to them because they're carnal. There's envy. There's strife. There's division among them. Why? It's because they're still a baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When you get somebody that is a, has, has got some grown up about them, do you know what will happen? They'll accept. They'll ex when you find somebody that wants to learn about God and wants to know about God and sincere, when you talk to them, praise the Lord, they're not going to turn you away. They're not going to reject the word of God. They'll accept what you say because it's in the word of God. But Paul is talking to the Corinthian church here and saying, you're, you're a bunch of babies. You've grown up, but you're still a bunch of babies. Hallelujah. 